Well, we now turn our attention over to UW Madison's campus where students are on their third day of sleeping outside overnight to pressure the university to cut ties with Israeli institutions. Things seem to be quiet now, but that wasn't the case earlier today. Jarrell Ballard joins us live with how their demonstrations are going. Jarrell. Yeah, hey, Brandon and Amber, you know, UW-Madison gave a direct order to students to have these tents taken down by 715 this morning. Obviously, that did not happen. These tents are still here, and these students plan to stay another night outside until they say their demands have been met. Now, as I walked around to the right of me, there was a visual taking place, and to the left of me, there is a group of students and their tents uh, fully prepared to stay another night. I had the opportunity to speak with an organizer today who tells me why they decide to come back every single day. Take a listen. It's really important for me personally to be here as an Iranian woman. Um, I was in the streets last year protesting the Iranian government brutalizing people. Um, so it's really important to me to st stand by those beliefs and be here this year when I see another government, the Israeli government, brutalizing people. Now, earlier today, earlier today, more than 100 people gathered outside Memorial Library for this pro-Palestine rally. The situation between protesters and police got heated when protesters refused to take down their tents. Organizers of the event tell me the school used excessive force on students who were peacefully protesting and that the administration made them feel unsafe. 34 people were arrested. However, the majority of those people did not receive citations. Four people were booked into the Dane County Jail. Three Dane County deputies and a state trooper were also hurt while attempting to move uh, to remove the tents. And right now it looks like the university will allow these students to stay here overnight. Uh, students will be sticking together and they're just happy that they're sticking together for something that they believe in. Yeah, Jarella, sounds like another active night on campus. Is there a timeline on if the university might try to remove the tents again? Yeah, Brendan and Amber, it's still unclear exactly what the next move will be from the administration. I can tell you that Chancellor Manukin has agreed to meet with the students tomorrow. Of course, we will be covering this story throughout the day tomorrow, and we will bring you the very latest as we learn more. Reporting live in Madison, Jarrell Ballard, 27 News. All right, Jarrell, thank you for that update. And UW-Madison Chancellor Jennifer Manukin released a statement this morning, which says in part, quote, every individual was given the opportunity to move away from the tent area and continue peaceful protests with Without further police engagement. While many chose to do so, approximately 30 protesters were cited and several others resisted police action. To view that full statement, visit our website, WKOW.com.